Tonight, much of the government remains shut down. Today, as of noon, almost half of the federal government employees are idle. Uh, and every time we reach out to try to help, we just encounter a new attack and a new mass of uh, misinformation. There have been 15 federal government shutdowns since 1981. Many were short, a day or less, while others lasted weeks. We should reopen the government now. We should work to balance the budget now. We should start the negotiations without any threats, without more ultimatums, without continuing this shutdown. The longest funding gap in modern history happened in December 1995, when the federal government shut down for 21 days after President Clinton and the Republican-controlled Congress could not agree on a plan to balance the budget. Before the 1980s, a lack of a federal budget didn't necessarily mean parts of the government would stop functioning. Agencies would stay open after their funding lapsed under the assumption that Congress would pay them back. In the late 1970s, Congress kept missing its budget deadline, mainly over tangential issues such as government funding for abortions and busing. In 1980, Democratic Representative Gladys Noon Spellman of Maryland wanted to make sure federal workers got paid on time in case of a funding lapse, but she was blocked by a 19th century statute. Then Attorney General Benjamin Civiletti said that the Anti-Deficiency Act of 1870, passed during the Ulysses S. Grant administration, prevented agencies from spending any money not authorized by Congress. Civiletti also threatened to prosecute the heads of federal agencies that violated the act, which carried a penalty of a $5,000 fine and two years in jail. Only activities protecting property and ensuring the safety of human life were permitted by agencies after their funding had lapsed. This legal precedent has continued today, severely limiting federal agencies once their funding runs out.